So today we're going to be doing three versions of a very similar style. The first one's going to be the easiest, second one you get in there and third one is a little bit trickier but they all look slightly different but they are the same type of style. So we're going to be doing a fake fish tail for the first one so if you can't braid this one's for you. You're going to take the hair into a ponytail, easier if you've already got a hair tie there. You're going to take a bobble or small elastic and we're just going to place the hair in a ponytail. Then you're going to create a hole going through the centre. Take the tail of the ponytail and pull it through. So all the way through, wiggle that through. And then we're just going to create a little bit of a tease out. Now can you see that that sort of flip through has created a little bit of a fishtail sort of effect, shall we say. You're then going to come a little bit further down again, pop in another bobble. I think I'll go two times over this time just because the hair's a little bit thinner down here. You're going to create a little hole and we're going to flip it through. We're going to do this maybe once, maybe twice more. And then I'll show you at the end what you can do with this style. So let's go definitely one more, possibly two, I'll see. So it's quite important when you're splitting through the middle that you don't kind of keep it exactly the same area. You're almost trying to mix it up a little bit because otherwise it all kind of, when you cut these out afterwards, you can go a little bit sort of like there's a gap in the middle all the way down. So I'm just flipping that back through. Doing that teasing out again. And I think we'll go for one more, we'll risk it. One more. Creating that hole, flipping it through. So I've just got a little stitch on picker and I'm just gonna snap that elastic gently and just allow that braid to come down. We're gonna do the same here. And the same here. So that is our faux fish tail, difficulty level one. Maybe it took about five minutes to do. As you can see, it definitely gives that effect of a fish tail braid without braiding. So now we're moving on to style number two, which is the true fish tail. So this is your true fishtail now, so I'd say this is difficulty number two. We are going to split the hair into two, like so. And then you're going to take a really small section from the top, you're going to cross it and put it into the one on the right, so left over onto the right. Now hold with the left hand and you're going to take a small section of hair from the right. Where I miss my nails and you're going to cross it over to the left. You're going to do that two more times, so little section on the left, cross over to the right, little section on the right, cross over to the left. So you've built up that sort of central area now so the braid isn't just completely gappy at the top. So I feel like that's kind of full now, so now I'm gonna to start to take these sections more from the back so little section from the left, cross over to the right. Hold it with the left hand now, you can put your thumb in the center if you want to. Little section from the right, from the back more, crossing over to the left. Hold with the right thumb now. So now I'm gonna go right from the back, crossing over, adding in. Now I love a fishtail braid, they do take quite a while, but I do think they're super pretty. The bigger the sections that you take, the less fishtail it'll look and the more sort of regular braid. And you can do half this thickness if you want to, but Adele's got such long hair that I'll be there all day. So we're going for sort of like a smallish medium thickness with our strands. So can you see that I'm just holding that centre of the braid 
with my thumb there and then once I'm swapping hands I'm moving that left thumb coming into the right and just holding there and that just keeps that little bit of tension in the braid so it doesn't go all baggy and start to fall out so each time I'm just swapping that hand over taking a small section of hair and over we go and now I will speed up this video for you So as you can see, this braid's really taken shape now. We've been patient and just taken a little tiny sections. I think what's funny about a fishtail is you think you've got to the bottom and you're nearly there. You're not. You've got so much left. But I do think it's one of those braids where it's worth having the patience to do them because they do look so pretty to look at. So once you are happy with the length of that braid you'll just tie a little elastic at the bottom and we'll have it a little nosy at the braid at the end so just adding a small elastic in there and that is our fishtail done i do think it looks really really pretty that braid you can of course tease that out as you go and make it much wider and uh, i'm just going to keep it really really neat today that is our fishtail style done. So that is all the angles of that braid. Really, really pretty. So last style now, style number three. Now people think this is a fishtail, but actually it's an infinity. It's by far my favorite. Very similar to a fishtail, but it does look different. So you're gonna break the hair into two like we did with the fishtail. You're going to take a small section from the back, you're gonna go over this left side, but then you're gonna take that same section under the right side, you're gonna take it all the way back over here. But before you do, you're going to add a little section of hair. So now we're ready to go over the right side, under the left side. You're going to add a little piece of hair. You're going to go over the left side, under the right side, adding in a small section. So again, you can go bigger with these sections, but I like it to be quite detailed. It takes a while, but it looks amazing. So don't forget, every time you go over on one side, you go under on the other which is why I think it's called the infinity because it kind of just keeps going round and round and round with the same section. You want that section to sit right underneath so make sure you keep pushing it up under that side. Adding in that little piece of hair. Smooth it out where you need to. Use spray or wax spray. Maybe some gel if you need to. You're just going to keep taking the same section over and under. Over, under. Adding piece in. Over, under. So you can see that it does look similar. I always feel like this one looks a bit chunkier and a bit tighter than a fishtail. So you're going to take this braid as far down as you like or as you can because it does become a little bit fiddly as you get down to the bottom and also if there's layers in the hair um, it can start popping out a little bit. So just kind of judge it for yourself. I am going to try and go quite far down with Adele's hair because she's got quite long hair. 
but I'll kind of know when I need to stop. I'm just going to stop the braid there before it starts to get a bit messy at the ends. And that is the end of our braid. Now this one, you can see why it does get mistaken for a fishtail, but it's quite a hard braid. Me and Adele were just saying you could use it as a weapon, smack somebody in the face, but I absolutely love the look of that braid. I think it's so unusual. So let me know in the comments which one you like, one, two or three, or which one you think would find easiest, one, two or three. And I'll be back soon with another tutorial.